What's up guys, in this video I'm going to make a quick tutorial showing you how to get free apps using the computer instead of doing it straight off of the phone. I think uh, it's kind of easier this way. A lot less pain and struggle to go through. So, uh, let's exit out of that real quick. This is the Station 2 apps. This is a great website. I highly recommend using it if you decide to use a computer as your main way of downloading it as opposed to using it downloading applications straight off your iPhone or iPod Touch. Uh, they have a search bar which is really cool. It doesn't take hours to search for an application unlike it would in Cydia. So they have tags here which is kinda like sections that you could look for. Have uh, the bigger sections where are more downloads, most popular ones. And they have categories. They don't just have it for the iPhone free applications, but they also have cracked applications for the Mac, which is awesome. I use the Mac. I love it. I don't know if this is going to work for the PC, but I do know it works for the Mac, and it's all that matters to me. So um, here's your featured applications. I'm just going to click on the first one because it just looks so tempting. No idea what this application is. But, um, wait for it to load. I'm going to click find the download links. There comes up an annoying pop-up. I have no idea where that's coming from. But, uh, I'm going to click download links. Hopefully it'll stop. Yes, it does. Um, you scroll down a bit. It has forum rules. Never listen to rules much. Um, and you have the versions of a regular app, but this is the very first version. So there's only one version of it. And you could buy it from Apple if you don't decide not to. I don't know, give Apple a little donation. I'm sure they make plenty of money a year. And you click on the link that you want to download from. And it, App Scene needs a capture, so I'm going to enter it real quick. Click download. After that, your video, I mean, your uh, application will start downloading. I'm going to minimize that page. And what's nice about this. Actually, what's bad about this is that it takes longer than install this on most applications. This application is fairly quick. That's why I chose it for this tutorial, so I could talk a little bit through the application. But uh, install this can be a pain. You know, sometimes you have to switch it to dirty instead of clean in the settings. And that annoying troll bridge gets just a pain in the ass, you know. You never know the password. Everybody says it's cavern. You enter cavern. You stupid install this application runs ten times slower but uh... that's just because of the servers i think or people are just trying to screw with you but either way this is a better alternative to install us if you do not like using installs i do prefer this way but you know i don't like to um... have to sync my iphone every time i install it so what i'm doing here is I, the download just finished and it's in my downloads and zoom in a little so you guys can see this that magnifying glass right there you are going to click it and that's going to open up a new window and it's called download so if you guys can see again you see the download right there it's the little magnifying glass right there I just clicked and it just popped up this brand new window so from this window what you're going to do is click and drag your brand new application download into your desktop and then from your desktop X out of downloads, you could do that, that's fine. Open up iTunes, and you know, iTunes usually opens up the full length of your uh, desktop, so I'm just going to minimize it a little bit. And it usually opens up on music, so I'm going to go into applications. From applications, you're going to click and drag your brand new download into your applications, and voila, it's right there in your applications. So that's one of the easier ways to get it. This way, you do not need a jailbroken iPhone or iPod Touch, which is awesome. Just amazing to do. I have no idea what this application is. I'm guessing it is a video camera. That's really crappy, because most video cameras are, except for Sidequarter. And even that, it doesn't have good quality, and you cannot share with Sidequarter. But anyway, after you have that in applications, you guys should know how to sync your iPod or iPhone in into iTunes. So that's it for this. Comment, rate, subscribe. Peace out.